This time of pandemic, lives had been at stake. Challenges after challenges disrupted the old ways. COVID-19 will not stop us to celebrate. To harvest the fruits of their labor, these brave souls had to endure. Amid the changes in education because there is no face-to-face. -face. Join us in a one-of-a-kind experience as we bring to you the Mamperes Agro-Industrial High School Virtual Graduation and Completion 2021. because it is the time of the year that they reap the fruit of their sacrifices. But this year is not just the usual graduation day because of the COVID-19 pandemic. This pandemic brought many changes and challenges in our lives and the education system is not an exception. Still, we don't like to miss this special day despite of the pandemic as we have this one-of-a-kind experience as we celebrate the combination activity, the new normal way. This is Baby Ruth S. Manuel. I am honored to be your Masters of Ceremonies for today. I am Argel Pagibitan, also your Master of Ceremonies of this momentous event as we witness the Amamperes Agro Industrial High School Virtual Graduation and Completion Exercises 2021 with the theme Strengthening Quality of Education, education. I'm COVID-19 pandemic. Ladies and gentlemen, the processional. Dr. Ferdinand T. Austria, Principal 3. Mrs. Annabel T. Ramos, Head Teacher 2. And the guest of honor and speaker is Myra F. Ruiz. The Grade 10 Advisors and Subject Teachers. Grade 12 Advisors and subject teachers grade 7 advisors and subject teachers grade 8 advisors and subject teachers grade 9 advisors and subject teachers the grade 11 advisors and subject teachers and the non-teaching personnel let us all welcome the graduates and completers of school year 2020-2021 The preliminaries. Mga kababayan, ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. Let's bow our heads and place ourselves in the presence of the Lord. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for gathering all of us today in this important event. Bless everyone present here today that each one of us may be able to share what he or she have for your glory and honor. We pray for our graduates today and leave them before you. We ask for your peace to cover them. We ask for laughter and joy to fill their days. 
We pray that you would give them boldness and courage to face challenges set before them with the confidence of peace that can only come from your Spirit. Be a lamp for their feet and a light to their path. Shine over them. Fill them with your Spirit. May today be a memory that burns bright within them as they embark on life's great adventure. May the various activities related to this event be a success through your intervention. We ask all of this in your name. Amen.
let us all listen to the welcome address from our head teacher three, Ma'am Annabel T. Ramos. Graduation is the most significant milestone in the life of every student. Education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world by Nelson Mandela. Greetings to everyone. Welcome to the fourth K-12 completion and graduation virtual ceremonies of Amang Perez Agro-Industrial High School for school year 2020-2021. To the grade 10 completers and grade 12 graduates, in spite of the pandemic, you were able to surpass all the challenges of the new normal in education. Today, you are about to receive your certificate of completion and diploma. Congratulations, dear students, for a job well done. We would like to thank and acknowledge all the Big Ed officials, especially SDO Pangasinan II, headed by the school's division superintendent, Dr. Danilo C. Sison, C. Sufai, Dr. Arden B. Kasipit, OIC, Assistant Schools Division Superintendent, our beloved school head, Dr. Ferdinand T. Austria, Principal 3, competent and hardworking teachers, and non teaching staff for providing quality leadership and services to our clientele in the educational arena. A special welcome and thanks is also extended to our guest of honor and speaker, Ms. Myra F. Ruiz. To all our parents and guardians who serve as teachers of their children, we offer our heartfelt thanks, your efforts and sacrifices in guiding and teaching your children is very much appreciated. Thanks too to all of our stakeholders, local government units, Barangay Council officials, and PTA officers. We are looking forward for more partnership in the future. Most of all, to the unsung heroes behind the success of every learner, to the teachers. Thank you for your dedication, commitment, and extra performance in carrying your mandates in the teaching profession. The pandemic is not a hindrance for you to deliver quality education to our learners. In passing, appreciate everything that surrounds you. God did not create anything that is not good. Always have a great Again, on behalf of Amang Perez Agro-Industrial High School Deaf Ed family, welcome and congratulations to everyone. each and everyone who is uh, attending virtually present at this time of our graduation ceremonies for our beloved and uh, very precious uh, graduates uh, for the school year which ends at this uh, time. First of all, I'd like to greet the parents and family members without whose sacrifices, whose uh, reminders, and whose participation in the learning process for our uh, graduates have resulted in this culmination uh, program. Uh, this year, your role has changed uh, drastically. Where we've always thought, we've always believed that the matter of educating our children rests nearly exclusively on our teachers and our staff. This time, you parents, you family members, you who are in the households of our learners have expanded your role and contributed to this wonderful day. 
wherein finally, finally, our learners are graduating in this culmination exercise. So congratulations, because this year has not been very easy, has not been a, a picnic for our teachers, for our family members, as well, uh, especially the parents, mothers, fathers, sisters, brothers, and all who have contributed to the uh, achievement of our learners at this time. So, maraming salamat at congratulations, parents and family members. Mas malaki ang role ninyo at this time compared to earlier graduation exercises. Secondly, I would also like to greet our teachers without whose very uh, careful uh, review and careful supervision of the work of our pupils and our learners, this event would not have take, would not be taking place um, at all. And so thank you teachers. Your role has also expanded in addition to seeing to it that the modules are faithfully followed, the assignments are correctly uh, implemented, and the learners are truly learning. And you have had to deal with new ways of assessing the performance also of the learners. So congratulations teachers for enduring, for your patience, for your love for our learners and your willingness to engage in a way and methods of teaching which are different from those which are used to. Assessment must have been especially difficult for you, especially since you were not able to see most of the time our students in face-to-face -face, uh, meetings and most of the meetings of course were virtual. We'd also like to thank the local government units for their interest, for their cooperation, and for their continuing, continuing uh, contributions to the needs of education even as our children do not go to school. Your donations of material as well as financial resources at this time are most welcome and your advice has been taken seriously not only by our teachers, by our school officials, but also by our officials in the Department of Education. We continually talk with local government units, especially in times of disaster, in times of great need for classrooms, for space, and for responses to unforeseen emergencies. Thank you, uh, local government uh, units. But of course, most of the congratulatory uh, greetings of fall on the deserving uh, graduate. Each and every one of you is truly special. You are different from the other graduates who have passed through the portals of your school. You went to school practically without seeing your teachers, if at all. You went to school with your parents, your mothers, and your fathers hovering over your shoulders and seeing to it that you are able to complete your assignments. You are completing your studies at a time when examinations and assessments are different. You are culminating this uh, long months of, of hard work at this time, uh, even as you have to do family chores, even as you are distracted. And 
even us. Your world has turned upside down and it seems and it appears as if we don't know what the future holds and what will happen next. But you have persevered and now you are ready to graduate and therefore you deserve each and every bit of congratulations from us in the Department of Education, from your parents and family members, your teachers, from the officials in local government, as well as in the parent teachers associations. You deserve each and every single congratulatory pat on your back, each hug virtually, of course, and each greeting which I am sure you are also receiving virtually. I don't know if you will remember this event many, many years from now. I have tried to recall myself who our graduation speaker was when I finished high school and when I finished uh, my college studies. All I remember is that the graduation speaker was someone important, someone who was invited because that someone is supposed to give a message. What was more important to us graduates at that time was the excitement of the celebrations the happiness and the joy of our parents, the sadness of parting from our classmates and from our teachers, and the enjoyment of all the graduation events that usually take place come commencement day. When I was a college student, we had a series of events which were designed to uh, embed in our minds, which were designed to help us remember and not forget our days in college. We would spend one whole day going around the campus, visiting the classrooms, saying goodbye to our teachers, and sharing our memories. We would have bonfires to say goodbye to each other. We had baccalaureate services where we committed ourselves to God and we prayed for guidance when we go out into the world. So many celebrations and the speaker of course is the least important and easily forgotten component of the graduation um, exercise. Nonetheless, I will uh, exert all efforts to share with you what I see are things or issues which a graduate uh, should uh, remember and recall. I have said that you are very special. You are very different. You are pioneering. There has been no other class like your class. There has been no other graduate like you as a graduating student because you are the very first graduate of the blended learning response to education uh, in the Philippines. And so you ask yourself, what awaits you in the world outside? You can either work because the kind of curriculum you survive and under one as a student will enable you to go to work if you wish to go to work. Some of you will proceed to further studies and this would be a wonderful thing because there are many opportunities for further expanding your knowledge, for further answering and looking for explanations of issues, events, 
that are that make you curious especially in science in technology and also uh, in the arts so you can work you can go to further uh, studies and perhaps some of you will settle down uh, hopefully not too soon so you can pursue what you really want to do so today this is why we call it we call this exercise a commencement exercise it's not the end of our studies it's not the end of all our efforts with blended learning with modules with floods with earthquakes and of course with COVID. It's a commencement of doors opening to you. More doors will be open because you are a graduate. You can work, you can proceed for further studies, you can help your parents, and you can perhaps look for opportunities to do what you have always wanted to do whether at work, whether at advanced studies, whether at learning more in science and technology, in mathematics and in the arts. All of these opportunities are available to you. More doors are being opened. I hope you will select the door which arouses your curiosity the door which will help you know more about this world and the door which will allow you to contribute to the development of our country and contribute whatever we can to solve our problems and our challenges congratulations once more to each and every one of you. Congratulations to you, parents and family members. Congratulations to you, teachers. When I was chair of the board of Silliman University, each time we had graduation ceremonies during the baccalaureate and during commencement itself, I would cry. I would cry because you are sending out into the world a new batch of, of graduates and we want to be sure that what is awaiting them is appropriate we want to be sure that they are ready for what awaits them when they select which door to open and so we tell you go out to the world do whatever you want to do. God be with you and be sure, be assured that all of us love each and every one of you. Congratulations. It is with great pleasure and admiration that I convey my best wishes and profound Felicitations to all the graduates, completers, and academic awardees of the school year 2020-2021. The efforts you have exerted to accomplish your academic tasks in the difficult times are something worthy of praises. Graduation and moving up ceremonies are the much-awaited events in the life of every learner as they represent the golden times of reaching higher education and achieving dreams and aspirations. Definitely, the road you have taken is rough, but all the struggles are worth considering as they are the first few steps that will define your future success. Indeed, finishing this challenging school year during these trying times of COVID-19 pandemic is remarkable since it has been inevitable to face and accept the new normal landscape of education. It has been a school year of extraordinary hard work, dedication, and passion for all school leaders, 
teachers, learners, and parents in dealing and coping with chosen learning delivery modality to meet the most essential educational requirements. While it is admittedly difficult, you may take it positively as you have been given the opportunity to adapt to difficulties that have strengthened your innate potentials. Likewise, the incessant motivation and support of parents towards the seemingly thorny road to success caused by the global health crisis, as well as the strict obedience to various health and safety protocols have enormously pitched in to this moment of your graduation and completion. My dear graduates, completers, and awardees, you have just marked another significant milestone in your continued quest for excellence and successful future. Certainly, more challenges will still come your way. However, to handle this, you should stay focused and always remember that your dreams are within reach when you are determined and committed to realize them. My beloved parents, community officials, and other stakeholders, accept our heartfelt gratitude for the victory we have achieved today. Thank you for being an effective and efficient partners of the Department of Education in the implementation of distance learning. Your untiring support is a deeper reflection of the unconditional love you have bestowed to the learners through the years. Undoubtedly, you have greatly taken part in realizing the goals and objectives of DepEd's Pivot to Quality Education under the Sulong Educalidad Program. Our sincere commendations to all our DepEd officials, the school administrators, faculty members, and non-teaching staff for providing the highest degree of service para sa bata, para sa bayan. Finally, with this happy celebration of your graduation and completion, it is with confidence to say that you have given our team for this year strengthening the quality of education amid the COVID-19 pandemic a very special meaning. Congratulations and have a wonderful graduation day and moving up ceremonies.
the candidates for completion and the candidates for graduation. Dr. Ferdinand P. Austria, Principal 3 of Amperes Agro-Industrial High School, Sir, I have the honor to present to you 44 candidates for completion of Grade 10 Ruby for the school year 2020-2021, of whom 29 are males and 15 are females, who have satisfactorily completed all the requirements prescribed by the Department of Education under the K-12 Basic Education Curriculum. Sir Principal, for your acceptance. Dr. Ferdinand T. Austria, Principal 3 of Amperes Agro-Industrial High School. Sir, I have the honor to present to you 45 candidates for completion of Grade 10 Diamond for the school year 2020-2021. Of whom 25 are males and 20 are females who have satisfactorily completed all the requirements prescribed by the Department of Education under the K-12 Basic Education Curriculum. Sir Principal, for your acceptance. Our school's division superintendent, Dr. Danilo C. C. Sun, with the strong recommendation of all advisors, Sir, I have the honor to present to you 89 candidates for completion, 54 of whom are males and 35 are females who have satisfactorily completed all the requirements under the K-12 curriculum prescribed by the Basic Education Program of the Department of Education. Sir, for your acceptance and confirmation. Dr. Ferdinand D. Austria, Principal 3 of Pomamperes Agro Industrial High School. Sir, I have the honor to present to you 25 candidates for graduation of Grade 12 Wisdom for the school year 2020-2021, of whom 11 are males and 14 are females who have satisfactorily completed all the requirements prescribed by the Department of Education under K-12 Basic Education Curriculum. Sir Principal, for your acceptance. Dr. Ferdinand D. Austria, Principal 3 of Amangperis Agro Industrial High School. Sir, I have the honor to present to you 24 candidates for graduation of Grade 12 Block for the school year 2020-2021, of whom 15 males and nine females who have satisfactorily completed all the requirements prescribed by the Department of Education under K-12 Basic Education Curriculum. Sir Principal, for your acceptance. Our school's division superintendent, Dr. Danilo C. C. San, with a strong recommendation of all advisors. Sir, I have the honor to present to you 49 candidates for graduation of the Amperes Agro Industrial High School, 26 of whom are males and 23 are females who have satisfactorily completed all the requirements of the K-12 curriculum under the basic education program. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the DepEd Secretary Leonor Magtoles for their ability to stand up, to bounce back, and to concur the odds just like the ongoing hardship and challenging brought about by the COVID-19 pandemic through our innate optimism to see the light and the end of every challenges in life. For so many times, we have proven that we can surmount any adversity by sharing a hand with each other in times of darkness and trials. The many challenging moments we have endured tempted us sometimes to give up, but our hearts refuses to be broken by death distress. We don't lose our hope because of the strong faith we share with each other, even in the most trying time of circumstances. We may be battered, but definitely never defeated. Having undergone a lot of honing and guidance through the patient, loving and caring tutelage of your teachers, you graduates are now ready to face the new chapter of your educational journey. Life challenges may not be easy, 
but you have learned at home and in the school that a success never comes easy the way we wish it, but rather through hard work and perseverance inspired by our Divine Almighty which serves as our guiding light. To the graduates, again my congratulations. We wish you all the best in your journey towards reaching your dreams and aspirations. God bless and mabuhay. Pledge of Loyalty by Bethany Eliza M. Perez, Grade 10 Diamond Student, with high honors. Pledge of Loyalty I, is teacher name, Bethany Eliza M. Perez, hold my diploma and solemnly pledge to uphold all the ideas and services of my alma mater, the Amamperes Agro Industrial High School, to maintain myself at all times, to be worthy to render services to the best of my ability and belief to my school, to my people, and to my country. So help me God. The Academic Excellence Awardees of School Year 2020-2021 Grade 10 Ruby Academic Excellence Awardees With honors, Alexander Noel D. Abando Parents, Mr. Alex and Mrs. Consolacion Abando With honors, Cherry S. Abrenica Parents, Mr. Charlie and Mrs. Marites Abrenica With honors, Mark Razal B. Agustin Parents, Mr. Roderick and Mrs. Merenesa Agustin With honors, Ranji G. N. P. Aquino Parents, Mr. Randy and Mrs. Elma Aquino With honors, Jasley Angel V. Barnachea Parents, Mr. Rudy and Mrs. Jovi Barnachea With honors, Jonalyn D. Cargo Parents, Mr. George and Mrs. Mary Jane Cargo With honors, Jovelyn O. Cerezo Parents, Mr. Jerry and Mrs. Marilu Marquez With honors Alpha May O. Matriano Parents Mr. Husilito and Mrs. Dima Matriano With honors Janeline A. Pajarito Parents Mr. Noel and Mrs. Helen Pajarito With honors Mary Ann G. Salvador Parents Mr. Edwin and Mrs. Marciana Salvador with honors, Venus J. Tukai. Parents, Mr. Erwin and Mrs. Marita Tukai. Grade 10 Diamond Academic Excellence Awardees. With high honors, Perez Bethany Eliza M. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Isagani Perez. With honors, Arzadon Janel Q. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Bertilio Arzadon Jr. With honors, Apolonio Janelin C. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Freddy Apolonio. With honors, Capiral Chamel Nicole A. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Jaime Caperal. With honors, Erhas Christine R. Parents, 
Mr. and Mrs. Pablo Erhas Jr. With honors, Levantino Mark Genesis B. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Danilo Levantino. With honors, Liwana Don Jexel L. Parents, Mrs. Adona Liwanag. With honors, Origines Joshua S. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Nestor Origines Jr. With honors, Lambino Stephanie Pauline S. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Paul John Lambino. With honors, Labarias Kishan Nea L. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Nicolas Labarias. With honors, Lucero Donabel B. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Salvador Lucero. With honors, Makashev Daisy Rose L. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Prudencio Makashev. With honors, Rosario K. Ann P. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Melvin Rosario. With honors, Salinas Micaela H. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Marty Salinas. With honors, Bintinilla Tricia Mia E. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Isidro Bintinilla Jr. Grade 12 Wisdom Academic Excellence Awardees Alvin Jacob P. Erhas With high honors Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Alvin Erhas Luisa May C. Cerelius With honors Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Angelito G. Cerelius Nika P. Datuin With honors Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Ricardo H. Datuin Diana Grace C. Dominguez With honors Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Maximo S. Dominguez Isa M. Lambino With honors Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Florencio Lambino Justin April D. Lavarias With honors Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Jesus A. Lavarias Lovely V. Lopez With honors Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Virgilio Lopez I. L. Ogawa With honors Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Tomiyoshi Ogawa Jasmine Rose A. Perez With honors Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Rosebird C. Perez Grade 12 Love Academic Excellence Awardees Aubrey C. Bernachea With honors Parents, Mr. Jaime Bernachea and Ms. Hubita Kadaon Irish Marie B. Cadico, with honors. Parents, Mr. Roben and Mrs. Emelda Cadico. Zyrel Jana B. Inani, with honors. Parents, Mr. Narciso and Mrs. Rodilyn Inani. Rachel C. Omega, with honors. Parents, Mr. Reynande and Mrs. Maria Luisa Omega. Julie Marie G. Tukay, with honors. Parents, Mr. Erwin and Mrs. Marita Tukay. Janet B. Bertodazo, with honors. Parents, Mr. Roberto Bertodazo and Ms. Marites Bostria. Message in behalf of the graduates by Alvin Jacob P. Erhas, grade 12 wisdom student, with high honors. To our devoted principal, Dr. Ferdinand T. Austria, 
our diligent head teacher, Ma'am Annabel T. Ramos, our guest of honor and speaker of Batch 96, Ma'am Myra Ruiz, dedicated teachers and administrative staff of our beloved school, supportive parents and guardians, fellow graduates, ladies and gentlemen, have a pleasant day. Today is a day to be thankful and to be inspired. Pursuing our education in this time of pandemic is truly challenging for most of us. We face a lot of struggles that make us feel down, confused and uncertain to whether we continue our study or to stop what we have started. We took different roads that led us to where we are today. This day is for us to be thankful. First, we should be thankful to our Almighty God who never failed to give us divine guidance and enlightenment. We have much to be thankful for. Here at Amang Perez Agro-Industrial High School, we have received a great education. Thanks to our administration and teachers, we are prepared to move on and to take on whatever challenges come next in our lives. Fellow graduates, I want you to know what a great gift it is to be as prepared as we are because not all schools offer such an advantage. Here we have had a high degree of academic excellence and whether you intend to continue your education or not, you will benefit from what you learned here. A lesson learned should be a lesson to be shared. We should be thankful to our families. These past six years, four years in junior high and two years in senior high, have presented us with a lot of ups and downs. And it is good to know what we had our families in our corner, supporting us along the way. Thanks to my mama and papa, Alvin Erhas and Beverly Ann Erhas. I would not be here today without you. Finally, we should be thankful for each other. The friendships that we have made here will last a lifetime. In the same way, we supported each other and helped each other succeed in these years. I hope we will continue to provide support and encouragement for each other in future and divorce. Often on graduation day, we look outside for heroes, but I see them right here among us. I have seen in my years at Amang Perez Agro Industrial High School that we don't have to look inspiration and that we, everyone have the potential to make an inspiring contribution to others. By being true to our values and committing ourselves to lofty goals, especially this pandemic. For the conclusion, when we live here today, celebrate what we have accomplished, but look forward with an eye towards how you too can be the inspiration of others. Congratulations, Class of 2021! The introduction of the guest of honor and speaker by Mrs. Sheila May C. Oli. A pleasant day to each and everyone. It is a great honor to introduce to you our guest of honor and speaker for today's affair. Our guest of honor and speaker is truly a living inspiration, where she was raised with emulative values and virtues by her parents, Mr. Renato Ruiz and Mrs. Fair Ruiz. At a young age, our guest of honor and speaker has exhibited academic excellence and immeasurable capabilities where she graduated valedictorian in her primary education at San Felipe San Nicolas, Pangasinan, and graduated as second honorable mention in her secondary education in our beloved school, Amang Perez Agro Industrial High School. Through her perseverance and an ending commitment to education, she finished her Bachelor of Science in Agribusiness major in Cooperative Management at Benguet State University in 2001. Also, she had earned 24 units in teacher education at Divine Mercy College Foundation, Caloocan City, and units in special education at Pamantasan ng Lungsod ng Manila. Our guest of honor and speaker is a strong-willed woman as she has been exposed to several professional experiences and volunteering services. A department secretary, an area coordinator, a lead volunteer teacher at Victory Caloocan Kids Ministry, and at present, a preschool teacher, a preschool coordinator, 
and a social cultural coordinator at Center for Children's Well-being Kaloocan. With her impressive personal and professional background and experiences, our guests of honor and speaker had received various awards, Exemplary Achievement and Performance Award 2018, Employee of the Year 2013, Employee of the Year 2009. Ladies and gentlemen, our guest of honor and speaker for today's affair, a woman of wit and pioneering spirit, Ms. Myra F. Ruiz. Thank you, Ma'am Sheila May Ali, for that pleasing introduction. It's an honor to be part of this graduation ceremony. Thank you for inviting me as your guest speaker. I wish that I could personally meet you and see your happy faces as you receive your diploma. But still, we thank God for giving us a platform that even physically apart, we still can connect to each other. To begin with, let me first give recognition to a, pe to a few people. Let me start with the Department of Education officials. Honorable Yonor M. Briones, our Department of Education Secretary. Honorable Tolentino G. Aquino, Regional Director in Region 1. Dr. Danilo C. Sison, CESO5, Schools Division Superintendent. Dr. Arlene B. Casipit, Assistant School Division Superintendent. Respected members of Amamperes Agro Industrial High School, faculty and staff, headed by the hardworking Principal 3, Dr. Ferdinand Austria. Also, through the leadership of dedicated and driven head teacher 3, Mrs. Annabel Tan Ramos and Mrs. Sheila Macy Oli of Senior High School. The PTA President, Mrs. Thelma Arbizares. Our municipal officials headed by our Mayor, Honorable Nonato S. Abrenica, and his Vice Mayor, Honorable Cheryl Zitan. The Barangay officials, through the leadership of Barangay Captain, Mr. Remeo M. Barnachea. Other guests, parents, and the awesome class of 2021. Good day to all of you. Graduates, before I continue, I would like you to pat yourself on the back. Congratulations! What a job well done! I am addressing you today, hoping to give you encouragement, inspiration, and motivation. I know this is school year. We marked an unforgettable history in Philippine education. Since that day of March 2020, we have experienced fear, uncertainty, confusion, frustration, distress, anxiety, and loss because of COVID-19. Families, both in rural and urban areas in our country, have to make adjustments to their daily lives that they never could have imagined. Parents, grandparents, uncle, auntie, or whoever available became co-teacher or so-called co-parent teacher. Many of us find it difficult and challenging to this new normal. At some point, maybe you ask yourself at first, magi enroll pa ako ngayong school year? Matatapos ko ba? ang school year na ito? May matututunan ba ako sa bagong setup? Makakabalik ba tayo sa normal na setup ng pag-aaral? At marami pang mga tanong. Maybe some questions were answered and maybe some were not. It might be the difficult graduating year but the most important is you are here proving that nothing even the pandemic could not stop or hinder you to pursue your dream through finishing your studies these uncertain times brought challenges to everyone not only to the students and parents 
but also for the teachers. So, may I take the opportunity to please give a warm applause to all your teachers who really make an endless effort, go the extra mile, and give their heart to their job just to make sure that each of you will not be left behind and give the learning materials such time like this. May I take this opportunity as well to say thank you to my teachers during my time. To name a few, my fourth year class advisor, math teacher, becomes our mother inside and outside of the school, Mrs. Annabel Tan Ramos. My cool, healthy teacher who helped me understand basic agriculture, which became useful during my college days, Mr. Mariano Ramos. My science teachers, because of them, science becomes my favorite subject. Mr. Arnel Javier and Mrs. Flo Socorro Agapay. My Filipino teacher, Mom Melba Maizano, because of her smile and approachable character, Filipino becomes enjoyable to learn with. My English teacher, Mrs. Editha Tan Ramos. I mean, Mrs. Editha Tan Guevara. I remember those times of quick talks and advice about life. I also remember when you asked me to accompany you to look for a press printing. Thank you for those memories. Also, do recognition to Ma'am Florinda Balatico, my other English teacher, whom I also admire for her dedication and excellence in work. To all my teachers that I was not able to mention, a heartfelt thank you. You are part of who and where I am right now. I also want to salute all the parents of these graduates. Thank you for holding the rope for them. Maraming salamat po sa hindi pagbitaw para sa kanilang pangarap. Maraming salamat sa pagintindi at pagsuporta sa mga guro at sa kagawaran ng edukasyon sa bagong sistema natin ngayon sa pag-aaral. Nandyan po kayo sa nahandang yakapin ito. Maraming salamat sa pagiging matapang ninyo at sa hamon na kinakaharap natin ngayon sa ating bansa. Isa po kayong inspirasyon sa amin bilang mga tagapagturo at sa inyo ring mga anak. This occasion is also yours. Three things that I want you graduates to remember in my speech. Three things that will help you to reach your goal and become successful in your life. By the way, there are a lot of definitions and principles about how to have a successful life. Well, I have my contribution too. For me, success is having joy while fulfilling your call and living a significant life. So, here are the three things that I want you to remember. This is taken from the book of Paul Chase with the title, The Soldier, the Athlete, the Farmer. First, I want you to have the endurance of soldier. Soldiers have to undergo rigorous training to become fit and gain strength. But being fit and having strength is not enough to fulfill their mission. They should also acquire endurance. Endurance that keeps them doing and going. Because each soldier understands that they will face battles. And in the battles, they will expect difficulties. While facing difficulties, they should not forget their mission the mission to win battles. Ang sabi nga ng mga Spartan, no retreat, no surrender. This is their law. By the way, Spartans are considered the strongest and best army soldiers of any city-state in ancient Greece. I believe that all of you have endurance. Your presence today, the diploma that you will receive 
is the proof of your character. You finish strong this school year amidst the battle we are still facing now. You never give up and you never surrender. Carry on this character. You will face more battles for the new season that you're going to face and a new season of your life. But take heart. The things that you've learned from this institution, the strength of your family that they are giving you, and your will to reach your dream will give you the endurance to face battles. Second, have the discipline of an athlete. Each athlete understands how discipline works. Discipline is an important foundation of one's character. It builds character of an athlete to help them focus and attain the ability to work towards achieving a target. Each athlete was created to compete. They give excellent performance by giving their best. They finish the race or game. They compete to win. The ultimate vision is to win. Athletes are committed. Committed to doing an excellent workout routine that will harness their sports skill. They should take good care of themselves by having a good diet and rest. Athletes know the rules. Rules that they need to recognize that they have a coach, that they have to trust and listen to their coach. Graduates, in application of the discipline of an athlete, you are called to give your best. If you have the opportunity to continue your studies, grab this opportunity. Make each day and perform each day with excellence by giving your best. You need to finish the race. Finish because your ultimate vision is to win by finishing your course. Take good care of yourself physically, mentally, emotionally, and most of all, spiritually. Make sure you have friends that will lead you to become better. Or rather, I may say, choose your friends. Engage yourself to activities that will boost your confidence and develop leadership. Don't forget that intellectual quotient and emotional quotient should be in equal equilibrium. Also, don't forget your parents, your teachers. They are God's appointee to coach you. Listen to them, obey them, and respect them. Above all, our ultimate coach who holds and knows our future, and that is God. I am proud to say that who, where, and what do I have right now is a product of prayer and grace of God. Someone said that you should be careful what you want because it becomes what you think. Be careful what you think because it becomes what you do. Be careful what you do because it becomes a habit. Be careful of your habits because they become your character. Be careful of your character because it becomes your destiny. Third is to have the patience of a farmer. Personally, I have a high respect for all farm workers because farmers are a symbol of hard work, dignity, and a great level of patience. I know most of us understand this. Karamihan sa ating mga taga-amang peres ay lumaki sa pagsasaka. Let's take a look at first the definition of the word patience. Patience is the ability to endure a long wait calmly or deal with annoying problem without frustrations. This is according to Google definition. Patience involves waiting. While you are waiting or while you are waiting stage, 
you develop character if you let it. Let's take a look at how farmers develop patience. The farmer waits by preparing soils and selecting the right seeds for the right season. The farmer waits for the harvest. When the farmer puts seed in the ground, they are still a long way farther from the harvest. Different crops take a different amount of time to come to fruition or harvest. Alam natin yan. Kung minsan umaabot ito ng tatlong buwan, limang buwan, o anim na buwan, bago anihin ang mga itinanig. Ngunit ang pinaka-goal sa pagsasaka ay ang pag-ani. The farmer waits for what brings the harvest. Marami bang maaani o kaunti lang ang maaani? Ani ba ay para lang sa nagsaka, pansarili lang ba to? Para lang ba sa kanyang pamilya? Pwede bang ibenta para ba sa bayan o bansa? O pwede rin pang export para sa ibang bansa? In application graduates, everything has its own time, pace, and schedule. Just like the soil, the school your teachers, your parents are God's instrument to prepare you. Let them and embrace it. And as you move to the next level of learning, you're waiting for the harvest. As you wait for the harvest, make sure that you get what you need. Immerse yourself to all the opportunity that will make you grow, bloom, and mature. Don't let insects and pests ruin you. Don't let problems, frustration, adversity in life stop you from growing. Flee from temptation. Maraming temptation yan as you go along the way. Remember, whatever choice you make has an impact. Five years, ten years, or hundred years from now on your family and your family's generation to come. Then, when you finish your education, this is the moment of what brings the harvest. What kind of citizen will you be? What is your value? I hope and pray that this batch of 2021 has a mindset of world changer. Tell to yourself, I am a world changer. World changer doesn't mean you have to change the world. It means that what you do to be a good student, to be a good friend, to be a good son or a good daughter and citizen, whether it is big or small, it has an impact on changing the world. It all starts within us, the willingness to help create the world what we dream of. I believe you, the class of 2021 is the chosen to begin the change our world needs because you witnessed and experienced this global crisis. With these experiences, you're able to know what is really important in our life. These are our family, friends, health, our community, your school community, and above all, the relationship that you have to our Creator, God. I ask you to remember them today as you go out and change the world. The class of 2021 will not be defined by what you have lost in the pandemic, but by how you responded to it. I am very excited about what God has in store for you. Someday in this batch, someone will be a doctor, a lawyer, an engineer, a soldier, an athlete, a farmer, politician, teacher, or maybe the next principal of this school, and other professions 
Responsible parents, but not too soon. Pastor or priest, I pray that you be responsible and be gracious for what profession that God has entrusted to you. Lastly, I want to share with you what God promised each of you. From the book of Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11, it says there, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Thank you for watching and listening. I wish and I pray for you a brilliant future and a better world. Again, congratulations to all of you, the awesome batch of 2021. Thank you. The awarding of diplomas and certificates to our completers and graduates. Amam Perez Agro Industrial High School Grade 10 Ruby Completers School Year 2020-2021 Abando Alexander Noel D. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Alex Abando Agustin Mark Russell B. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Roderick or Agustin Alvaro JBS Parent Mr. and Mrs. Lito C. Si Alvaro Aquino Ranji GNP Parents Mr. and Mrs. Randy C. Si Aquino Barnachea Emmanuel P. Parents Mr. and Mrs. Orlando Barnachea Sr. Barnachea Eugene G. Parents Mr. and Mrs. Luminador Barnachea Sr.
Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Noli Dirilo. Wanane Feng O. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Cipriano Wanane. Lamsen Bethany May V. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Dennis Joel Lamsen. Makanas Leia May A. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Leo Makanas. Marquez Melanie L. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Renato Marquez. Matriano Alpha May O. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Susilito Matriano. Paharito Janeline A. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Noel Paharito. Salvador Mary Ann G. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Edwin Salvador. Tukay Venus J. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Amang Perez Agro Industrial High School, Grade 10 Diamond Completers, School Year 2020-2021. Apostol Aaron I. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Marlon Apostol. Arzadon Raymond L. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Rinaldo Arzadon. Bruno Ian Christopher M. Perez, Mr. and Mrs. Herman Bruno. Bruno Mark Francis M. Perez, Mr. and Mrs. Frankie Bruno. Candelario Peter Paul R. J. A. Perez, Mr. and Mrs. Rodel Candelario. Dozono Mark Glenn D. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Freddy Dozono. Ibuho Marvin A. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Levi Ibuho. Estrada Junicio Jr. B. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Junicio Estrada Sr. Lambino J. A. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Dandine Lambino. Lambino John Michael S. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Ramil Lambino. Labarias Edruel A. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Duel Labarias. Lebantino Mark Genesis D. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Danilo Lebantino. Liwana Don Jackson L. Parents, Mrs. Adona Liwana. Liwana Richmond L. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Roy Liwana. Lopez Carlo J. A. Perez, Mr. and Mrs. Jaime Lopez. Makaraod John Cedric S. Perez, Mr. and Mrs. Salvador Makaraod. Makaraod Cyril F. Perez, Mr. and Mrs. Salvi Makaraod. Mamaratlo Lapaniel D. Perez, Mr. and Mrs. Nelson Mamaratlo. Origines Joshua S. Perez, Mr. and Mrs. Nestor Origines Jr. Oliveros Greg Angelo C. Perez, Mr. and Mrs. Gregorio Oliveros. Panimbatan Arnold L. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Mando Paningbatan. Rapper James Patrick B. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Orpiano Cerezo. Romuar James Ryan Nathaniel C. Parents, 
Mr. and Mrs. Gary Rumar Sales Christian G Parents Mr. and Mrs. Danilo Sales Salinas Aaron D Parents Mr. and Mrs. Eduardo Salinas Abelia Maricel M Parents Mr. and Mrs. Mario Abelia Apolonio Jeneline C Parents Mr. and Mrs. Freddy Apolonio Azadon Janel Q Parents Mr. and Mrs. Bertilio Arzadon Jr. Bardinas Christine Joy C. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Bolivar Bardinas. Camaso Jessame Q. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Isos Camaso. Capiral Shamel Nicole A. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Jaime Caperal Honda Florgen C Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Jason Honda Diaz Aiko Marie N Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Leonardo Diaz Erhas Christine R Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Pablo Ertas Jr. Lambino Stephanie Pauline S. Perez, Mr. and Mrs. Paul John Lambino. Labarias Christian Nea L. Perez, Mr. and Mrs. Nicolas Labarias. Lopez Renalin C. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Henry Lopez Lucero Donabel B Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Salvador Lucero Makasherb Daisy Rose L Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Prudencio Makasherb Aurelio Christine May Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Alan Azul Perez Bethany Eliza M Perez Mr. and Mrs. Isagani Perez Perez Crystal Ann A Perez Mr. and Mrs. Ronnie Perez Rosario K. Ann T Perez Mr. and Mrs. Melvin Rosario Salinas Micaela A Perez Mr. and Mrs. Marty Salinas Vintinilla Tricia Maya E. Perez Mr. and Mrs. Isidro Vintinilla Jr. Monteres Agro Industrial High School Grade 12 Wisdom Graduates School Year 2020-2021 Abes JBM Parents Mr. and Mrs. Jerry C. Abes Agustin Gian Benjo B Parents Mr. and Mrs. Wilfredo R. Agustin Jr. Antonio Dave A Parents Mr. and Mrs. Jerry R. Antonio Arzadon Raymar L. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Reynaldo J. Arzadon. De La Cruz John Lloyd C. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Dondon P. Liwanag. Erhas Alvin Jacob P. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Alvin Erhas. Ferrer Harris J. O. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Joel Ferrer. Laureta Jezreel Client S. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Jeremy R. Laureta. Maceo John Timothy. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Jesusimo V. Munar. Mejia Eji C. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Henigno D. Mejia. 
Bersosa Joshua Parents Mr. and Mrs. Julius Winson Perez Abelos April Ann G Parents Mr. and Mrs. Renato O. Abelos Andrada Kate Jeanette Parents Mr. and Mrs. Lito B. Orpiano Cerelias Luisa May C. Parents Mr. and Mrs. Angelito G. Cerelias Corpus Elena C. Parents Mr. and Mrs. Eduardo A. Corpus Datuin Nika P. Parents Mr. and Mrs. Ricardo H. Datuin Domingo Liza M. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Leo D. Domingo. Dominguez Diana Grace C. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Maximo S. Dominguez. Lambino Isa M. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Florencio Lambino. Lavarias Justin April D. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Jesus A. Lavarias. Libres Joan G. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Juan I. Libres Jr. Lopez Lovely V. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Virgilio Lopez. Marquez Rachel A. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Freddy L. Marquez. Ogawa I. L. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Tomiyoshi Ogawa. Perez Jasmine Rose A. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Rosebird C. Perez. Aman Perez Agro Industrial High School. Grade 12 Lab Graduates. School Year 2020-2021. Andrada Michael Angelo. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Rufo Quarisma. Marnachea Reynald D. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Renato Marnachea. Bukat Alexander B. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Ramil Bukat. Cabanela Mark A. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Alex Cabanela. Castro Mark Junel M. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. June Castro. Culiado Jenmar B. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Marcelino Culiado. Culiado Marco M. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Rolando Culiado. Enrico Troy B. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Jody Enrico. Javier Clifford. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Ismael Clemente. Javier Mark Anthony T. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Alexis Javier. Lacson Julius Cesar B. Parents, Mrs. Concepcion Bucat. Mingarini Ferdinand B. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Victorio Mingarini. Bajarito Adorico Jr. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Adorico Bajarito Sr. Perez John M. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Wilfredo Perez. Sorio Gary. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Larry de los Santos. Barnachea Aubrey C. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Jaime Barnachea. Bugawan Mary Ann G. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Henry Bugawan. Cabico Irish Marie D. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Ruben Cabico. Corpus Rosita M. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Bernardo Corpus. Inahe Zyrel Jana B. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Narciso Inahe. Omega Rachel C. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Reynante Omega. Tukay Julie Marie G. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Erwin Tukay. Berzosa Jeline ICP. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Leigh Berzosa. Bertodazo Janet B. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Roberto Bertodazo. Let us all listen to the class of 2021. 
graduation song. Masakit mang isipin na tayo ay maghihiwalay, hiwalay. Kanya-kanyang pangarap ay kailangang abutin ng isa't isa. Hindi ko na namalayan Na hanggang dito na lang Ang ating pagsasama-sama Paalam na Ang dami kong natutunan Sa paglalakbay na ito Paalam na Ang inyong mga bawat payo Ay nakasulat na sa puso ko Masakit mang isipin Paglalakbay na ito Paalam na Ang inyong mga bawat payo Inakasulat na sa puso ko Changes 
in the lives of everyone around the world. Changes that made many challenges both for the rich and the poor. Challenges that altered our normal way of living. But all of these can be overcome by each one of us. May the simple graduation and completion exercises make us see the silver lining and remind us of hope despite this pandemic. This has been your host, Arjel Pagibitan. And Baby Ruth S. Manuel saying, Thank you for being with us. And congratulations to the completers and graduates of, of Class 2021. 2021.